You are now tuned in to Freeing the Minds TV, home to mindful living. Peace, love, and light. Indeed, indeed, it's been a minute. Mm, peace and love, right back at it again. We're just going to dive right on in today. We're going to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, starting at verse 1. Spiritual gifts is what the build is on. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, starting at verse 1. Now about spiritual gifts, brothers, I do not want you to be ignorant. And I'm reading out of life application study bible new international version zondervan scriptures okay so once again first corinthians 12 starting at verse 1 now about spiritual gifts brothers i do not want you to be ignorant you know that when you were pagan somehow or other you were influenced and led astray to mute idols therefore i tell you that no one who is asking by the Spirit of God says, Jesus is cursed, Yahshua is cursed. And no one can say, Yahshua is Lord, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but the same God works all of them in all men. Now, to each one the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good, the good of all concerned, the good of all. To one there is given through the Spirit the message of wisdom to another the message of knowledge by means of the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit to another gifts of healing by that one spirit to another miraculous powers to another prophecy to another distinguishing between spirits. To another speaking in different kinds of tongues. And to still another the interpretation of tongues. All these are the work of one and the same spirit. And he gives them to each one just as he determines now let's go through a couple notes real quick before we continue on 12 3 12 3 where it says therefore i tell you that no one who is speaking by the spirit of god says jesus is cursed yeshua is cursed and no one can say yeshua is lord jesus is lord except by the holy spirit the note on that says anyone can claim to speak for god and the world is full of false teachers. Paul gives us a test to help us discern whether or not a messenger is really from God. Does he or she confess Christ as Lord? Don't naively accept the words of all who claim to speak for God. Test their credentials by finding out what they teach about Christ. Now, note for 12.9, 12.9, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by that one Spirit. The note on 12.9 says, all believers have faith. Some, however, have the spiritual gift of faith, which is an unusual measure of trust in the Holy Spirit's power. 
So that in itself is a power, an unusual level of trust in the power of the Spirit itself, the Holy Spirit itself, faith. Now 12.10, 12.11, to another miraculous powers, to another prophecy, to another distinguishing between spirits, to another speaking in different kinds of tongues, and to still another the interpretation of tongues. The note on that says prophecy is not just a prediction about the future, it can also mean preaching God's word with power, strong teaching, speaking in truth, in full. Distinguishing between spirits means the ability to discern between whether a person who claims to speak for God is actually doing so or is speaking by an evil spirit. Paul discusses tongues and their interpretation in more detail in chapter 14. No matter what gift or gifts a person has, each gift is given by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit decides which gift each is given. The Holy Spirit decides which gift each one of us should have. We are responsible to use and sharpen our gifts, but we can take no credit for what God has freely given us. We can take no credit for what God has freely given us. Mm, real talk, man. Visit www.freeingtheminds.com for your unique, original Freeing the Minds merchandise and apparel.